you missed our last video, we are three days into this thing called Rag Ride. Rag Ride. Here we go, it's on the side of the road. It's a seven day ride where 15,000 people bike 455 miles across the entire state of Iowa through endless amounts of cornfields. Hey, look at that corn! in 100 degree heat. A dangerous heat wave is making conditions sweltering across central Iowa. Day three of Rag Rai was the hottest one yet. It was all about the heat. Let's just talk about how hot it has been. 90s made a comeback and I'm not talking about the music. It was the heat. We decided to do the whole thing on a tandem bicycle that we rented and rode for the first time the day before the race started. We thought, how hard could it be? <laughs> Stop screaming. It turns out as non-bikers, so far this week has been filled with high highs and lows. Oh, you're not helping at all. Is this what you're gonna be like on the back of the bike? One minute we feel like we're dying, and the next minute we're at a big party. We're doing this crazy adventure with Nate's brother Dusty, his wife Sarah, and our friends Rick, Beck, Evie, and Frankie. So my Frankie phone, uh, you need to call Nate. Okay, sure, you nothing. smell like a sandwich. <laughs> Unfortunately, the first 206 miles have taken a toll on our group. I got a sole leg. And we're starting day four with two less teammates. I've been pedaling on a bike for the last 30 minutes and I still haven't had coffee and I've been up since five. Just wanted to make that known. Good morning. It is 7.15 on day four and we are already 10 miles into the ride. Today is supposed to be the hottest day of the entire week, 99 degrees, and we still have to ride 67 miles. So we put our tents up in the dark last night. We woke up so early this morning, we were taking our tents down in the dark. Also, there was no coffee and Kara managed to ride 10 miles uncaffeinated, which may be the most impressive feat of the entire trip, but we found coffee. Oh my gosh, it's real coffee. And real food. This acai ball is so good. This is without a doubt the best food and coffee we've had all week. This is the best day of my life. All right, we are fed. We are caffeinated. Woo! We have 57 more miles to go. Woo I had the most miserable person out of all 10,000 ragbri riders on the back of my bike this morning, <laughs> and now I have the happiest. I feel good. Good work. I love it. All right, we made it to Moo Town. This guy is riding over 300 miles with his parrot. You might stand on your hair. Hi, baby. Oh, you want to ride on the tan? Right, so right there, just like a little neck massage. Like I that. could use a little neck massage. Yeah. You never know what you're going to see at Rag Bride. Have a good one. We've come up with a new nickname for the team. We're calling ourselves the Java Rockets because we are just flying by everybody and we're giving the coffee the credit. We never get to tan. Hey, look at that corn. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. Does anyone know Wagon Wheel? Yeah. Is this Wagon everyone out. Why is everyone leaving? Do you know the next verse? We no know idea. The no idea what the next verse is. Who knows the next verse? I don't think anybody knows that next verse. <laughs> <laughs> the whole crowd was like, <laughs> Evie, good job. That was the weirdest music to Wagon Wheel I've ever heard. I was like, is this Wagon Wheel? And he was like, I think so. <laughs> chocolate pie, Nate! <laughs> it's the first time I've seen chocolate pie all week. I love this place. It is day four of Rag Bri, and this is only my second piece of pie. I think that means I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> that was my best care impression. Nailed it. I keep saying it, but this is the best thing I've put in my mouth. And all the money's going towards building a splash pad in the town, so. One win for everybody here. Mm. 
<laughs> Thank you, nice church ladies in New Braun. Definitely not. Where are we? All right, flight is over. The heat index today was supposed to be up to 112 degrees. So we've been super thankful for these clouds. I feel like this is the most rag bride thing we've done yet. There's this house that has a pond in front of it and they've just put a big inflatable in the middle of the pond and everybody is stopping for a swim. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> it feels amazing. I know, it does feel so good. I was so sweaty. How are you doing? Good. Good. It's hot. People needed a break, they needed a rest, they needed to be able to, you know, rejuvenate. So we didn't want to keep it for ourselves. We wanted to share with everybody. Oh, that's so sweet. This is the perfect picture of Iowa Nice. Thank you so much for yeah. your hospitality yes, and your kindness. You're welcome. Hi! Why don't you try to get lunch? Okay. Shift the weight to the hands. Keep it. Keep it. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Are you the one giving out the free beer? Yeah. What for? I wanted you to stop. I want to talk to you people. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I did it. Way to help Roger give away his free beer. I don't know why we're doing this, but I'm having fun. Cheers. Thank you, Roger. Welcome. I feel like this is the first day we've officially done Ragbrite. We've eaten pie, swam in a stranger's pond, and now we just got free beer. All right, we have made it to Janesville, which is the second to last town of the day. We're only 15 miles away from Waterloo, and we've learned over our last four days at Ragbri that this is where the party happens because everyone's almost done with the day. They feel like they've almost made it, so they let themselves take a breather and just enjoy it before heading to the last town. Especially today, the weather was supposed to be so hot. I think everybody just blazed through the first half of the day as quickly as they could, and now that we all made it here earlier than expected, it's just a big party. We're gonna walk you through one of these typical rag ride towns that we stop in and kind of show you what's available. We have the iconic Thelma's ice cream sandwiches, some Latin American cuisine, all of your typical fried foods and bar snacks, Brazilian food, Mr. Stakula, a live band, hot dogs, porta potty, oh sorry, <laughs> cute little trailer selling adult beverages. This is a great welcomed change to beer for me. Sick of beer. Tractors, slip and slides. Woo! Local honey. Hey! Cookie dough. If we're really lucky, there's a water fill up station. These things are awesome. They've also been surprisingly hard to find. You would think with 10,000 people riding their bikes through 100 degree heat every day, they would make those really obvious, but some towns, they either don't have them or they hide them somewhere. Real quick, we wanna say a big thank you to Surfshark for continuing to support this channel. Whether we're flying around the world or riding bikes across Iowa, we know that we're protected with the best VPN on the internet. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network, and it encrypts all the data sent between our computer and the internet so that no one can steal our sensitive information. If you spend a lot of time staring at screens like we do, a VPN is a great way to improve your digital life. Because not only will it keep you safe online, but it can also be used to unlock content Content that isn't available in your area. It's super easy to change the virtual location of your computer and get access to a completely new content library. Uh oh! Better put on your ski boots! Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. If you don't already have a VPN, we highly recommend Surfshark. It's been our go-to for over a year now, and it's the only VPN to offer one account for unlimited devices. You can use our code Kara and Nate to get 83% off plus three extra months for free, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there is zero risk to try it out. To get started, just click the link in the description below. Hey guys. This is probably my favorite part of every town, which is where all of the locals set up their own little tents and sell things that are homemade. It just shows how big of a deal that it is that this many people are coming to their town. It just makes me so happy. This is what we call a scotcheroo. It's like an Iowa Midwest. Tradition. Look at that icing. Mmm. Oh my god. That's oh, amazing. Yeah. They taste just like peanut butter balls, but in a different form. Yeah. Like chocolate peanut butter crunchiness. It's like the 
most beautiful combo. You guys need to like have a show on Food Network now because I feel like your food descriptions are like a 10 now. When you first started, you like never done it before. Yeah. She's been watching our early videos. <laughs> we apologize for some of those. This was pretty good. Obviously. Oh, 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 oh. Just drop it, just drop it, just drop oh, it. Oh. <laughs> it's about 100 degrees outside. Kara just ate a huge peanut butter scotcheroo and an ice cream. And now I'm concerned that she's gonna throw up on my back on the way to Waterloo. <laughs> We're almost there. The last 15 miles has been tough. We had the beating down sun and the headwind that I dreaded all day. But I'm so grateful that it was just the last hour and not the entire 10 like I thought it was gonna be. We're rolling into camp and it's only 4.15. Ugh, I'm so hot. Hey! Oh, Shade yeah. and ice. Better than anything else after a ride. This is why you don't see much of us after we finish the bike ride. We just collapse. Whew, that was a tough finish. This is home for the night. Pretty sure it's still 100 degrees outside right now though. Ugh. Getting pretty good at setting up the tent quick these days. All right, today was day four. When I woke up this morning, I questioned everything. Like, why are we doing this? Why does anyone do this? I slept on top of the bed with zero clothes on and zero covers. So I woke up hot, naked, and afraid. Isn't that a show? Um, so. Wow. Last night I was saying, this is the hottest I've ever been going to sleep. Literally just laying in a puddle of sweat. And before I could finish that thought, I was asleep. <laughs> so today was my first full day on the struggle bus. Our guardian angels have taken me in under their wing as all oh. Iowans, Iowans. <laughs> this video is going so good right now. Today was actually best day so far because we actually woke up early. We timed our breaks perfectly, had a nice swim at a pool. It was like the funnest and almost easiest day we've done so far. I went from thinking today was going to be the worst day of Rag Rai to it being the absolute best day, except for missing that. So I spent the first two and a half days having people ride past and go, oh, the, the one in the trailer, you know, sleeping, or the one in the back's not pushing, or that used to be the comment, and now it's... Hey, you lost the one in the middle. Honestly, it's like when you hear it 400 times a day, and you're tired. Being on a tandem brings people closer, not farther apart. And if it does bring you farther apart, then you probably shouldn't be together anyways. Bessie, that's so hard. morning. It's day five. I can't even make myself put on clothes. It's so hot. We have to go ride 84 miles, which is tied for our longest day yet. If we make it through today, though, it's all downhill from here. Not really. There's little hills, but you know. How'd you sleep last night? Uh, really bad. Good, but then mom woke me up. Now I'm super tired. Short and sweet. I slept decent, but it was so freaking hot. So great. Not great. So I was kind of joking this morning when I said I wasn't putting on clothes because I was so hot, but then we all decided that it was the day the entire team rides in only chamois. I'm wearing tights in public. Looking good, Dusty. Looking good, Rick. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I like it. Go fast. I feel tired. <laughs> the first few minutes on the butt are always the worst. I can't like get on my way down. All right, it's been about five minutes and my butt already feels better. This happens every morning. Once again, been up since five. Haven't had a proper coffee, but I learned from my mistakes yesterday and had a little bit of powdered coffee in a water bottle full of lukewarm water. It at least is gonna keep me from being a witch this morning. Yeah, right, right. yeah I like this morning energy when we wake up we don't really want to get going again because we're kind of tired and then you get in the slipstream with these hundreds thousands of other cyclists and it's just like this energy just pushes you along the road we're all suffering together this is what i get to look at every day and working as hard as he can to keep up with the peloton 15 miles in just got to the town of jessup they have gone all out they have flags lining the road all the way to downtown and they've drawn with chalk all over the road i have a good feeling about this one so we rode the first 17 miles without food or coffee this morning because we got a message on Instagram from a place called Reinhardt's that said they would give us a free breakfast sandwich if we made it here. This better be good. Hello! How are you guys? Oh, 
Okay. Reinhardt's is a farm. We grow all of our fresh produce, and then my sister and her husband made our breakfast sandwiches. I'm so happy right now. Yes. Oh, look at this burrito. This is easily the best sandwich, the best food I've had on this whole trip, oh. and we needed it today, big time. I feel like this is gonna revive us. I know you're not gonna believe me, but it's the best breakfast burrito I've ever had. <laughs> I really needed a second dose of caffeine this morning, so got a hot coffee to go. It's really hot, so it's hard to drink fast. It's also hard to drink in general because I'm on the back of the bike. Well, Nate pedals us to the next town. <laughs> Give out the good work, Nate. All right, we've made it to the town of Rowley. We are 35 miles in. Unfortunately, the first 35 miles of the day felt like what I expected the last 35 miles of the day to feel like, which is rough. If I ride like this, my neck doesn't hurt as bad. I think my body's just not used to leaning forward like this for this many hours a day. It's hard to shake it. Way to go! Thank you! Those are the little moments that make Ragbri what it is. And I don't feel like we've done a great job of capturing it, but there are so many people who are just standing at the end of their driveway, spraying you with their sprinkler. You're pretty much just riding by random acts of kindness all day, and that's what makes it beautiful. It's just so heartwarming and really does like give me energy. Also, if you're wondering what the car situation is on Ragbri, they pretty much have the roads completely shut down. It's almost 100% bikers out here outside of just a few random cars, and I think that's because the police will let people through that live on the road. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How's the team feeling? Feeling great. The best we've felt all day, I think. 100% agreed. Is it free? Yeah, it's free. Wow. Thank you. There's plenty more, and we'll work up the Legion there, too. Thank you so much. Well, we got 20,000 bottles of water for you wow, guys. Thank you. I'll take it. I'll take a pour. Oh, oh, wow. I'll take a splash. Oh. Oh. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right, we have made it to the halfway point, which is the appropriately named town of Center Point. We are about 53 miles into our 83-mile ride. I don't know. Something happened, but I feel like a new man right now. I also feel like I'm walking around town naked, not wearing shorts over my chamois. This feels so weird. I even feel weird pointing the camera down there. The energy in this town is okay. just awesome. Hey, so hot. Oh, hot, yeah. Plus, they have barbecue mac and cheese, which I feel like I can eat guilt free. <laughs> Somehow, the nine year old has more energy than all of us. She's biked every single mile of this trip. Go, oh, man, go, oh, they said. <laughs> it's been headwinds and hills ever since pulling out of the lunch town. Woo! Even when it looks like we're going downhill, it still feels like we're pedaling uphill. This is crazy. When we stand up and stop pedaling, we like almost stop because of the headwind. The second half of the day has been a grind. Really, the first half of the day was a grind. We had a great middle. <laughs> the middle was good. Rag -rag. Goats on the side of the road. <laughs> a rag -rag. I wonder if that goat could pedal in the middle of our bike. <laughs> Look, little goats, I have food. It's working. So sweet. Can we just pet them? Yeah. I mean, I'm not in charge, but I oh. think it's fine. <laughs> oh, we've made it. Central City, second to last town before we make it to the end. What am I ordering? Big pickle. Get your big pickle right here. Big pickle. Not an ordinary pickle, it's a big pickle. Oh, never had the symbol. Never thought a pickle was something I would eat while I was exercising, but apparently they're hydrating and I've had one every day. I think the salt just helps your body retain water. We only have about 15 miles to go, so we're gonna make it, but if it's anything like the last 15 miles, it's not gonna be easy. So we've seen a bunch of people walking around with Dorito bags and a fork, and it turns out they're called walking tacos, and they are an Iowa staple. We got crunch up Doritos, taco meat, cheese, lettuce, sour cream, and salsa. I'm sitting down while eating a walking taco. I feel like I'm breaking the rules. Rebel! Last 15, you ready? You can do it. You can do it. Oh, you're not helping at all. Is this what you're gonna be like on the back of the bike? Super cool. Keep up the good work. We made it. Animosa. <sighs> 4.55. 11 hours on bikes, 84 miles, and we have made it. 
Kind of feels like the desert out here. There's no escape from the sun. Good work, team. Uh, Hardest day yet. I really think I had a solid hour where I like felt good and strong and fast. But the other 10 hours, it was like every single pedal was a struggle. I don't even think it's that we didn't feel good today. The route was just especially hard. Oh. I think everyone probably wins. Well, this has become the daily routine. Set up the tents, <laughs> take a shower in the hose pipe. This is better than a fire hydrant. <laughs> This is a lot less weird. Everybody else is over there. It's like we have our own private shower tonight. As much as I made fun of Kara for showering in the fire hydrant the second night, I've now lowered my standards and I'm showering in a hose pipe in front of everyone. Rag Brow do weird things to you. No matter how early we wake up, there are always people in front of us. Ugh. It's day six, and today is already off to an awesome start. This has to be the coolest morning of the entire trip, which is a very welcome change from yesterday when it was so hot, I didn't even want to put clothes on. And best of all, Beck's knee's feeling better, so her and Frankie are riding with us, and we have the entire team back together. Woohoo! It's a problem with it being cold in the morning. Nobody wants to get up. Setting up and taking down a tent is starting to feel all too normal. The van is going to feel super luxurious in a few days. It's funny how everything is relative. A few weeks ago we came back from Europe, got off a yacht in Spain, and then we moved back into the van and then it really felt like we were roughing it. Now we've done the Boundary Waters and Ragbri and slept in tents for two weeks straight. And it's totally reset our mindset and now the van is like the most luxurious thing I can fathom right now. What are you doing today, Frankie? Are you excited to be riding with us today? Yeah. All right. We're so excited to have you back. What is that? What is that? What's that animal on you? Baby Yoda. Oh. <laughs> Team Drop Rockets are back together. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! And look at this. Day six. Day six. Let's do this. It's weird if I'm off the butt on my hand. <laughs> How's it feel? Good. Did my face say I'm alive? I was a little nervous for a second. <laughs> It was actually cold this morning. Ah. Always complaining. It's hot. It's cold. What are these chill bumps on my skin? All right, the first town is 17 miles away. We've learned that if you get up and ride in the morning while you're half asleep, you just kind of don't even realize that you're doing it. And then it feels like you get a bunch of free miles in the morning. There are a lot of riders out this morning. Wake up legs, we got a giant hill to climb. Come on, you can do it. The first five miles of the morning have been nothing but hills and headwinds. Bessie and Sarah found this new breakfast place yesterday. Oh, breakfast! Yeah. All right, how was it? It sounds like it's it's going fine if so far. If we stay like this, that was hard. Good. Frankie's exhilarated. This is my new favorite truck. They have Mexican oh, breakfast oh. bowls. This is fun. <laughs> and giant hot cups of coffee. Dusty and Sarah ate at this food truck yesterday and they said it was the best thing that they've had all week so we had to try it. It gave me so much energy yesterday. Woo! I want to be just like Sarah. I'm going to eat this whole thing. Woo! <laughs> I've been missing out on this. <laughs> We're laughing about just how much things have changed since day one. Instead of getting up at 7.30 and being the last ones out of camp, we were gone by 6.30 this morning. We're eating healthy breakfast bowls and coffee. On the first morning, six miles in, we were having margaritas and fried cheese. We just got caught up in rag bri the first day and made some mistakes, but we've learned a lot. So no one enjoyed this. No, it was awful. This stream of bikes that's coming down the road right now, we've probably been here for 30 minutes and it has not slowed down one bit. Every time I think, wow, thousands of people just came by. There's no way there can be anyone left. They just keep coming for hours and hours. And what is it? Anytime you see a large gathering, it's probably free beer. Tell me now. Last full day of rack rack. Yeah. Free beer. <laughs> what you got? We got Twisted Vine Brewery, Old Crusty Scottish Ale. Thank you. So remember when we were talking about our bad choices from day one? Cheers. 8 a.m. <laughs> I was hoping you would stop. Here, here. Biggest American flag in Oklahoma. 
Iowa, where are we? I saw a sign that said, deal of the day, buy two sandwiches and pay for them both. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are 22 miles into our 65 mile day and we have made it to Oxford Junction at 9.50 a.m. Going about as slow as you could possibly go, but because it's fun, not because we're struggling. This is a good day. Today just feels different. I think it's knowing it's our last full day, the hard days are behind us, and the clouds. <laughs> From what we've heard, tomorrow is the last day. It's 30 miles, it ends early, and then like everybody gets in their car and goes home. So today's kind of like the last real day of Ragbri when everybody just has fun. We're taking full advantage of every single stop. Cheers, Evie. Cheers. Good work this morning. We're back to making smarter decisions. All right, I love the outfit. Looking good. What outfit? I wear this all the time. <laughs> good morning, Retro. Hi. It's the most people I've seen walking. They're back up the hill all week. Oh man. Are you there? Yeah. Oh, it's tough. Yeah, that hurt. We made it to the next town for the first time ever. We pulled a Peloton. Dusty and Sarah pulled a Peloton. Oh, my legs feel like Jello. Woo! Work. All right, which one's the best? I made blue barb and it's all gone, so. Okay, so I can't offend you by picking a different one. No. This looks like a giant piece of apple pie. Ice cream on top, yes. please. Thank you so much. Whoa, man. I'm not joking. I almost killed myself boy that Peloton. <laughs> it's a cookie icing sandwich. Mm. For those of you who don't know, a Peloton is not only a hipster cycling thing that you get to put in your house. It's also a group of bicycle riders. So that's what we were pulling earlier. When you have a group of bikers in a line, somehow it's like you break the wind and you don't have to pedal as hard. So if you're in the back, it's super easy. If you're in the front, it's really hard because you're doing the hard work for the rest of the group. All right, I just ate four cookies and we're off to the next town. What? Well, that lasted about 15 seconds. Boom, there should be one more drunk. Okay, for real this time. We're doing this unless there's another gin and tonic booth around this corner. <laughs> hey, look, corn. Oh, wow. corn. Nice outfits. We started our own pelly, y'all. We got Dusty and Sarah in the front, not fam in the back. What was the inspiration for the barefoot ride? Uh -huh. No, I just, I'm always barefoot. Right. I don't wear shoes. Even to work? No. I love it. We've made it to DeWitt, and I think we're all a little sad. This is like the last full day of Ragbri coming to an end. There have been many, many, many times on this ride that I've been ready for Ragbri to be over, but right now is not one of them. Oh, that looks beautiful. Best pizza I've ever had. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> I almost died, but it's delicious. Great call on Casey's. Mm -hmm. I love Casey's. Keep in mind that this pizza review is shortly after biking 65 miles. We would have yeah, given a piece of cardboard with cheese on it at 10 to 10. <sighs> Rag bride. Today was such a good day. The best day. Waking up to cool air was probably the best part of the trip so far. <laughs> Yesterday, we rode 84 miles in 10 hours. Today, we rode 60 miles in 13 hours. <laughs> we just knew it was our last day and we were all together and we just wanted to take full advantage of the whole Ragbri experience. It's funny how quick it can change to where like biking 65 miles in a day just seems like not that big of a deal. We're gonna call this the Ragbri roller coaster <laughs> because it's just a constant series of ups and downs. There are like the highest of high moments where it's like this is the best 
thing we've ever done. And the moments where I'm like, get me out of here. What did we sign up for? I'm never doing this again. Was it enjoyable for you? No. It wasn't? You didn't like it? I loved it. You loved it. Well said, Frank. I think overall rag bri, maybe like 20% suffer, 80% fest, 30% suffer. It really just depends on the person and the day. Overall, it really is so hard. But that's one of the things that makes it so great. Like if it wasn't hard, the hour you lay in the grass with your friends, it just wouldn't be as fun. It's shared suffering. <laughs> For us as a family, it's been a really, really cool experience. The girls, they are shining. We are just extremely proud. Some of my biggest fears ended up not being that bad. Like I was so worried about butt pain and chafing and all the things that come with sitting on a bike seat for so long. And really it hurt the worst, I think, the second morning. And then it just kind of goes away. It was just such a good way to see Iowa. All these little towns that we would have never seen otherwise. It truly brought the best of Iowa to the surface. Like I can't imagine coming to the state and doing anything else. The locals went above and beyond. And that was just so awesome to see. The people of Iowa have been absolutely best phenomenal like it it makes the ride you would never do this without these people here i am super proud of you i was really uh yeah proud of beck for for getting back out there after she was injured i'm proud of my wife for making it for one full week on a bike and he had such a good attitude the whole time. Except for that last guy who told me I wasn't pedaling. <laughs> if one more person drives past the tandem and says that I'm not pedaling. He got the bird. No, Dusty, stop. <laughs> do not put that. I found myself all week long being like, oh, next year we'll do this at Rag Rag. And then I'm like, wait. <laughs> Are we doing this again next year? And, so um, uh, are we coming back to Rag Rag? Are <laughs> yeah. we doing it again? Yeah, yeah. I want to. Yeah? Thumbs up? Absolutely. <laughs> We'll be back for sure. Hey, Frankie, stop, stop. We biked across the entire state of Iowa. <laughs> Rag Bri. That's what, that's what we know Iowa now as. 30 more miles to Clinton. That's right. We could do it without stopping if we needed to. <laughs> okay. I didn't get to pedal a bike. <laughs> the, right, heat, right. the heat's gotten to their brains. Love you. I love you. Uh, it's been fun. It's also raining a little bit. I'm glad we did it. It's like actually important. It's a miracle. Day seven of Rag Bri. We got coffee at our campsite. Up to this point, the campground has just been a big field. No one's ever selling anything, but Rick found a lady selling coffee and donuts out of her car this morning. So we don't have to get on our bikes, foodless and caffeineless. Great way to start the last day. Every morning we have to have our bags on the official Rag Bri truck by 8 a.m. so they can be transported to the next location. So far that time hasn't been an issue because we've been getting up super early to try to avoid the heat of the day. But today we only have 30 miles to ride and we found coffee and donuts and had a nice slow morning. Now we're throwing them on the truck with about two minutes to spare. <laughs> Thanks for bringing the energy. Try. <laughs> also, if you're curious about what the bathroom situation has been for the last week, when we're out on the road, we're usually peeing in cornfields because honestly, that feels more sanitary than going in porta potties for the most part. Even though there are usually some available along the route, but every night at camp, you're definitely just using porta potties exclusively for the week. This time in this last town of DeWitt, there have been volunteers going in and cleaning every single one after someone uses it. I don't know who volunteers for that job, but they're a better person than me. Last day. First pedals of the last day, 30. See JD. Yeah. A little sad. It feels weird seeing the town that we're riding to on a sign. I'm gonna miss this. It's gonna be weird to not just show up to a 400 person keg party around every cornfield. <laughs> Spirits are high this morning. It's amazing how much of a difference it makes in just how your body feels knowing that you only have to pedal 31 miles. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Wow, look at that corn! Wow, corn! Good morning, Frankie. Are you ready for Rag Bride to be over? I trend at Rag Bright has been fanny packs that have like a belly button or a butt crack on them. <laughs> they get me every time. We've just gotten to the first town, which means we are already a third of the way finished with the last day. We found beautiful sausage omelet croissants. Stage is going by way too fast. 
The food just keeps getting better. It's so crazy how normal this feels. Like, what was my life before Rag Bri? All right, last 15 miles. I'm so sad. It's 12.30, we've been going for four hours and we've made it a grand total of about 16 miles. We're in no rush to finish this thing. Bring it, hold your Cheetos up. Yay! This is it? Yeah. Woo! All the way across Iowa. Welcome to Clinton. We've done it. Woo! Good work. Good job, Ross. I can't believe we're here. We did it. I'm so proud of you. Oh my God, they have five. You liked all the way across the state of Iowa. Can you believe it? What a journey. Oh my right, God. So. Before we eat pie, a lot of people deserve a lot of credit. Kara, to your first huge bike trip. I'm so proud of you. You are the best tandem partner ever. To your first big bike trip. Thanks for coming back for another adventure. Right. And the people who deserve the most credit. Rick, for pulling the whole family, no matter if there were two or four. Oh my God, he was the <laughs> best. And Beck, to coming back for the last two days through the knee pain. I'm so glad I was able to come back to get this pie. Oh, this apple crumble looks incredible. Incredible. Best pie of the week. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I can't think of a better way to celebrate the finish. Oh, that's really good. The Mississippi River! So the official finish of Ragbri is the Mississippi River, and the tradition is to dip your wheel in the river to officially finish the race. It's actually over. Now we take the bikes back to the rental shop and it's on to the next adventure. That's my toe. Oh, this is a good angle. Okay. I think we're delirious. We'll tell you the rest of the story while the camera's <laughs> laying on the ground and we're looking at it. Who's your favorite? Mommy, Sarah, Kara. Mommy, Sarah, and Kara. All of us. Yeah. Good answer. That's not really how favorites work. But... I like Sarah. Dad, you need to go get some cash. Let's just keep riding to New York. What's the next state? Let's turn around and ride back to Colorado. Did you say what's the next state? New York? Yeah. What state is next? Illinois. Are you so excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a skirt on. What is that, Frankie? Yeah. This really nice guy rode up next to us and he was like, hey, I watch your videos. How's it going, man? Hey. And then proceeded to ask us about 21 questions, all of which I answered. And I'm pretty sure Kara just had her head down and her eyes closed the whole time. So, Sam, if you're watching this, sorry for the bad first impression. Or you have as much fans as you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's true. Rag is over and I'm riding the tandem for the first time. Up front, the jokes have started. Do you have pads in your Speedos? We do not. Oh, God. We're on YouTube! Yeah? Yeah, we are! Do we have more fans than Karen and Nate on this ride? Yes. 